Hi, everybody, and especially welcome, Prasanna. You are a senior manager and web analyst uh, and also into automation uh, at Acquia. And you also love uh, REST APIs. Well, uh, I think we are currently the only uh, talk live at uh, Multicon, so uh, all the attention is uh, for you. Take the stage. That's great. Uh, thank you, Daniel. Uh, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me in this session, uh, audit implementation using Motic REST API. Uh, my name is uh, Prasanna Kulkarni. I am Senior Manager uh, Web Analytics and uh, Automation at Acquia. Uh, I work in the Marketing Operations team uh, within Marketing Department here at Acquia. Uh, and I've been lucky enough to be a part of the team uh, that has gone through uh, uh, migration of uh, Marketo to Acquia Campaign Studio last year. And this year we are going through uh, the migration of Salesforce Classic to Salesforce Lightning. So as we are going through all of these migrations uh, uh, of the tools that integrate with uh, Acquia Campaign Studio, uh, we want to uh, be able to know which fields are being deprecated in these tools. Uh, and uh, those fields might be syncing with Acquia Campaign Studio and being used in campaigns and segments. So as these fields are being deprecated, uh, we want to be sure to know the campaigns and segments uh, which, uh, which are using those fields uh, so that we can edit them or plan work around, around them. And uh, as a web analyst, I'm uh, really interested uh, in making sure that we are capturing the right uh, data and uh, the implementation is working working as we've planned uh, it to be. So by the end of this talk, you will have an idea on how to audit hundreds of forms, campaigns, and segments in your implementation uh, using Motic REST API. Uh, I used uh, Python to uh, call the API uh, and loop through all of the forms, campaigns, and segments, um, uh, the link to which uh, uh, will be shared at the end of the talk and also can be found on my uh, GitHub. So we will uh, talk through three real use cases uh, that we faced. Uh, the first use case is about auditing 400 forms on the website uh, to make sure that we are capturing the right UTM values. Uh, and then the uh, next two use cases is to audit our campaigns and segments uh, to uh, see which fields uh, are being used in them. So let's uh, talk uh, through the first use case. Uh, the first use case here is check that the 400 ACS forms on the website have uh, the five required hidden fields. So uh, the way we have set up our uh, UTM implement uh, UTM uh, tracking is that when someone lands on the website using UTMs, uh, those UTM values are captured in a cookie. Uh, so that if the a use visitor uh, goes to another page, those UTM values stays with them. And then when they fill out the form, those values are passed uh, to five hidden uh, custom required fields on the forms. Now the form needs to have the correct, uh, the five uh, hidden fields with the correct HTML name. Uh, that's uh, that's a, a condition over there. And uh, uh, we have processes to make sure that when forms are copied from templates, uh, those uh, the hidden fields are there, uh, there's checks, but you know, in, uh, looking back, it's always great to uh, have the ability to uh, audit all of the forms on the website. Uh, so we had this use case of auditing forms on the website and we used uh, Modic REST API. Here we can see a uh, an example of uh, an audit. Uh, it might be a little uh, uh, small for the screen, but uh, this is, these are all the form names. And uh, uh, thank you, Daniel. Uh, these are all the form names over here. And now uh, we have to prioritize which forms to go and edit first. So we have form submissions over here uh, uh, for the last one year that was also captured through Motic REST API. Some uh, reference data as when the form was created, when it was last modified. Now these are the five uh, required custom fields that we want on each form. So if it's on the form, uh, it, it, the audit is telling us, okay, the field was on the form. If it's not on the form, it's telling us the, this uh, field that you're looking for is not on the form, so that some member of the team can go and audit that form. 
Uh, as you can imagine, if we are to do this uh, manually for 400 forms, that would be a very uh, painstaking effort. The other uh, uh, two things uh, other than the UTM fields are also making sure that a dependent field called state is present on the form. Uh, and uh, so it's telling us here that the field is not present on the form. Uh, and the other condition is uh, here that the X field is present on the form. And what's the default value of that field? Uh, so we also have found that. So in addition to UTM fields, we found these two other conditions, which was really helpful uh, for audit now auditing our forms on the website. Now, the uh, next use case is find the segments uh, and uh, logic for those segments that make up 250 operational uh, campaigns uh, in our Acquia Campaign Studio instance. Uh, so th this is related to the Salesforce migration project. Uh, we, uh, if, we, if the fields are being deprecated in Salesforce, we wanted to make sure that we're not using them in our uh, segments and operational campaigns. So. Uh, let's take a look at uh, an example again. Um, here we, you can see all of the segment IDs, uh, which exact field on that segment uh, is, like what's the condition of that segment, uh, what's the uh, logic for that uh, uh, field, and then uh, what the field is. So if there are any segments, uh, if there are any multiple conditions in a segment, like here we can see on uh, segment 74, uh, all of those are uh, given on different lines. So like this, uh, we provide uh, the to the script, we provide the operational campaigns, and then it will give us an audit of all of the segments that make up those operational campaigns. And the third use case is uh, find out which fields are updated by our operational campaigns. So we just took a look at the segments that make up operational campaigns, uh, but now and now we are taking a look at which fields are updated uh, by the operational campaign. So here is an example of uh, the audit again, uh, campaign ID, uh, what was the condition name and uh, what's the condition property. Uh, for uh, campaigns that have multiple conditions, we have multiple rows over here because uh, the code looped through all of the conditions. Great. Uh, so what else can, uh, so we are auditing uh, forms, campaigns, and segments. We also use the reports endpoint for Mautic uh, API to pull reports from ACS and push to BI, uh, to Domo, which is our uh, business intelligence uh, tool that we use. Um, so, but there are lots of other endpoints uh, that Mautic uh, API provides us as well. And uh, these might be relevant to your implementation. So I would really like to know if uh, what you would like to audit in your implementation. Uh, uh, you can send me a message uh, today in this event, or you can also let me know on Twitter uh, at ol underscore pk. You can find the code for the audits on my GitHub, uh, uh, which is Prasanna Kulkarni 333. Um, uh, and thank you so much for joining me on this call today. Thanks a lot for this quick talk and uh, I think it's good for everybody to just have a break and stretch his legs. <laughs> All right, see you around and thanks Thank you a lot. so much. Thank you, bye.